Hey, what's up guys? I know it's kind of been a while since I've released a new video, and I figured I owe it to my viewers to kind of explain where I've been and why I haven't been putting out any new content. Especially after I said in my first video this summer I was actually going to make videos this year, and I kind of feel disappointed that I haven't lived up to that expectation. So let me clear some things up. Firstly, I really haven't had a laptop on hand, especially not one with any good editing software. So this year is my senior year of high school, and it's proven to be a bit of a challenge. Not just the workload of like homework and whatever, but the small amount of energy I've had after balancing school, getting a new job, and just trying to keep up with the things I do in everyday life. Nevertheless, this semester is finally over. I'm gonna have a lot more free time and energy to put into doing the things I actually like to do. Like making videos. So now that I've put some perspective on what I've been up to, let me kind of give you guys some background on this video. I've been kind of hesitant to put this one out because I don't really think it's entirely self-explanatory, but I think if I can give you guys a bit of background on how it went down, you'll be able to kind of see how it plays out. So about a week after the mansion video, Renee sent me a web link of the next place we should check out. So the article Renee sent me was about this man named Junior Banks who's devoted his life in the past 20 years to building a castle all by himself. When interviewed about it, Junior Banks claimed this place to be a temple of God. More and more videos I found online of this place, the more I got pumped to go there. So luckily we found out this place was very local and only about 45 minutes away. Well, we, we thought, but... We actually ended up driving around for hours in the middle of nowhere until we got any clue of where this place might be. We expected it to be as easy as putting in the address from Google Maps into the GPS, but that ended up taking us down a bunch of back roads and roads that weren't actually roads at all. When we finally found the place, it was on accident. We were actually waiting for Sam's mom to pick him up, and we drove past this little dirt trail with a sign that says, Castle Here. We drive up this little dirt trail, and at the top, we find the place we're finally looking for. And honestly, it's not nearly as cool as it looked in the pictures. And like many of the other videos I found about this place, Junior Banks himself showed up while we were trying to explore it. Honestly, he was a pretty strange man, but he seemed really pure in his beliefs. I'll let you guys decide what you think about the dude yourself. Yeah, I think I've been talking too much. Anyways, I think that's about all the background you guys are going to need to understand this video, so just enjoy. What up, bitch? <laughs> Sam, dude, you realize my parents watch these videos. Fine. Ah, oh, dude, I'm taking a giant picture while I'm talking. Yeah, Sam, this isn't exactly a tourist attraction, but, you know. I told her we were going to Greenback, and she's like, Is Renee a good driver? And I'm like, of course! I tell you this every time, you don't believe me? We're six minutes away now. Whoa, look at all these old cars! Look at that wow. Volkswagen. What? Oh. <laughs> Not like anybody's gonna be on this road anyway. There's a sticker on the back of that that says I heart scrap. <laughs> Wait, roll up a little bit. Dude, I thought there was somebody I in there. Oh my now. god. <laughs> a body? <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna say a body. I was like a body bag. Yeah, me what? too. It looks like a body bag. No, yeah, yeah. No, I was talking about, I thought it was like a person wearing a I dress shirt. I thought it was a dress shirt, and then I looked again, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like crap shit. I mean, honestly, I, you know, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, like, a, wouldn't be surprised. I'm telling you, Junior Banks got your back, bro. Hey. <laughs> bro? That mattress. <laughs> Let's take it. That's gonna be at my house, yeah. bro. Yeah. Tramp sesh, tramp sesh. Tramp sesh? Tramp sesh, yes. Dude, I had that pool too. Why do these people have all my pools for my child? It's weird. Dude, I used to have that tomato, bro. Freak out. Holy crap. This is probably not a road. A road not taken. I'm pretty sure this place isn't real. This is where our taxes go, guys. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Holy crap. We're gonna back out. Oh my god. I have AAA. Your boy's gonna come out here. Wait, are we actually on from here? I'm not driving. Why are we out of Knoxville? We're literally out of like civilization. <laughs> Use this. <laughs> Suit, shirt. Honestly, Ooh. you're kind of a scum. I saw that. Okay, so we're walking up this random trail. Everybody's probably mad because I keep talking all the time. But uh, I'm not actually sure this is where we're supposed to go at all, but maybe we'll get there. 
Maybe. I don't know. Nay, we might as well. We might as well walk and see what's up here, though. This looks like it could be it. It's a little majestic. Yeah. Yeah. Majestic. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there's like a castle on the top of the hill, you yeah. know, just, just chill. But... Sam, isn't this a tourist attraction, bro? Yeah, it's like Dollywood. Sam, you need to fax your dad back, dude. <laughs> I know. It's... What if we're actually like hecka trespassing in some like random person's property? <laughs> <laughs> Recite Edgar Allan Poe on this one. Something, something, something more. But something, something more. The Raven. Two paths diverged in the woods. That's Robert Frost. Shit. Man, I'm retarded. <laughs> what? As I wandered, we can marry. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Dude, what if we just walked into like cannibalism? Wait, okay. The Confederate flag? I don't know. It looks like an American flag. What'd you say, Sam? I'm pretty sure we're just on someone's property. It ain't the first time. Fuck you. Uh, she just says that to make sure I pay attention to her. She's very lonely. Like me. We get all the fuck. <laughs> you like what? Large open fields. Do you like long walks on the beach too? Yeah. I like large walks. <laughs> like there's nothing for miles. I think they took the wrong path. You know, this is kind of a serene place to die. Really? Yeah. I'd be okay with dying that day. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I had known that this poem was Robert Frost and not Edgar Allan Poe, we'd be in the right place. Renee talking about deodorant and how she smells like lunch meat again. I'm getting a boner. <laughs> what are we gonna say? We were, do you do you know where Greenback Castle is? Greenback Castle. Sure, back here. Go, go to the forks of the road over here. Okay. Go left in. All right. Go up to the top of the hill. And Lee Shirley Road's on your left. Okay. Go to the end of Lee Shirley Road. It's going to run into, well, there'll be another road running into it, which is Russell Holler. Okay. Just as soon as you turn from where you see Russell Holler Road, turn the curve, it's right there on the left. Okay. Thank, Thank you so thank you. much. Thank you. Sorry for. That's all right. I just didn't know what you were back here. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's all right. You have a good day. You, you too. too. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Oh, thank God. That could have been a lot worse. We always have the best luck when it comes to trespassing. You're right, but not for long. Oh, you mean like the first time? The first time was. Yeah, I was like, watch out for my cow, though. Yeah. Can I tell you about that, Sam? No. We were trespassing one time, and they were just like, yo. And we were literally hiding on the ground. We were in a ditch. But, yeah, yeah, like in a ditch, like freaking World War uh, One or something. But um, we were in this ditch, and then like this guy comes up and rolls up, and we're like, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. And then he's just like, hey, I don't mind you guys being here. Just watch out for this one cow. But what Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Chewbacca. Oh, there's Looks like a trailer. trailer. You ready for trespassing oh, part two if we mess up? KK Castle. Dude, I think this is it. I recognize this. Really? I recognize this from the video. I think we're here. Uh, if not, any last words? No. Oh no. shit, look who's out. Oh. Asking for directions actually. So what ends up happening at this point is that the guy in the trailer comes out and notifies us that actually we are again on the wrong property. Then Sam's mom calls and tells him that she needs to pick him up and we are about 30 minutes away. So we end up pulling into Greenback Town and stop at an antique shop. Well, we didn't find the castle. We found all these kids. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know where Greenback Castle is? <laughs> Uh, 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 oh, what? No. Do you know where Greenback Castle is? Where's Greenback Castle? Well, Renee ends up saving us with this question, and the lady actually gives us direction to Greenback Castle finally. 
Unfortunately, Sam has to leave. Finally here. Guess we're making this one ourselves. Yeah. Makes me sad, but... We'll be back, though. We'll be back. I couldn't give you a warning But I felt it all over me I hope you come where I'm going Baby, my hands are free Falling so hard and swimming through stars and Maybe that's alright I'm feeling Notice how quiet I am, and I usually never shut my mouth. <laughs> That's just how this day has gone, honestly. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Okay, Dad. You know, I'm gonna be real honest, like, some of the stuff, like, right here, just kind of creeps me out. Yeah. It's kind of edgy. OG. I still can't get over that he built all of this stuff. Like, that's insane. This is like something you dream of as doing as a kid, you know? Then you grow up and realize you're pathetic. Whoa! Okay. Like if you, oh boy. Actually, no, because like the window. Renee has gone grut. I mean, I was gonna say you've grown guts, but I said grown gruts. I mean, that too, but. Hey, no climb. I feel like this whole thing's just gonna like fall. Honestly? Is it a body? No. We could ask him honestly, he's super honest. Building. Maybe stand sort of close here, see if y'all taste it here. Will that be all right with you? Yeah. Okay. Well, look at me, see, okay? <laughs> Just raise your right hand and hit me with a rock when you get ready. Uh, people's wondering why this building is here. Uh, first of all, it's on the his temple's supposed to be built in Israel. But you know, it's, it's been a little change of plans. This is the same letter to you, Father Israel, where his temple's supposed to be built. And he said, I gotta get gotta get my temple built before I can get back down there. So follow the latitude around Israel and come right through here. And it also started a long time ago. Uh, started back with Moses. Uh, the Almighty asked and said, Moses, Moses, what are you doing? He said, I'm leading this bunch out of Egypt like you told me to, big guy. And the big guy said, well, that's good. He said, don't talk to me, Moses, but listen real good. He said, don't you build me an ark of covenant. I want to come down there and dwell. Don't want to make no appearance. I just want to dwell. So make me an ark. He said, don't talk to me. Moses said, you, okay. <laughs> Several years later, the Almighty said, Solomon, Solomon, what are you doing? He said, I'm just messing around. 
Well, he said with 2,000 concubines and 700 wives, Solomon, I bet you are messing around, but now don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me, but listen, listen real good. <laughs> so I want you to be in me a temple. We call it Solomon's Temple. I want you to be in me a temple. I don't want to make no appearance. I just want to get under and dwell with you all. Solomon says, okay. And he says, well, just don't talk to me. <laughs> all right, several years later, the Almighty said, Old oh, man Junior, old oh, man Junior, what are you doing? And he says, big guy, I'm just waiting on your orders. He said, that's good, old man, but now don't talk to me, but listen real good. I want you to build me a temple. I got to have my temple. I want to come down there and dwell with you all for a while. But says, then I'm going to make an appearance. And if people don't believe everything I say, just come here and look at the government documents in there. Come here and look at the spirits that's showing up here. And... Check the internet. They spit probably pictures of Moses and Daniel, and they just arrived here. My family, some of them have made it here already. Some of them I don't know, <laughs> but they surely show up sooner or later. If anybody don't believe this stuff, just ask somebody's been here or come and look. They no charge. Appreciate you too. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cartoon for life. My classes will be fairly easy, but like, at least for semester, but I won't have like a lot of downtime. I speak cow. Hmm. What is it? When it like crosses out on like hot top things. I like how he like, there's like the gradient like on the wall or like the stripes almost. Mm hmm They're not like real granite. Dang. Vroom vroom. <laughs> the jet. When you gotta go, like. This is the dungeon room. rooms for bad people. Uh, actually, I don't know really, but I, I think something like corn vines or something like that, you know. Yeah. The leaves, you probably knew how I'd done them. When the cement was wet, one section at a time, i put a leaf down there, and then that evening or next day, I'd pull the leaf up, and then you got an imprint in there. Just take your brush, if you ever want to make one of them here. Of course, you know how to do the salt. Make it another wish you go by here, okay? Make it another wish. Hey, what do you I put one cent on this side and a nickel on this side. He said, well, come. Mm -hmm. If you're coming up, you probably feel bad. If you went through the building, you feel good. So price went up there. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where our story ends. Uh, we stopped recording at this point and went home. It was a long drive, and Ray and I had some serious conversations, so I didn't really feel like I needed to film them. The final clip of this video is taken several hours later after we get back to Renee's house and then we watch her dogs fight in the kitchen. A usual occurrence. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching like Godzilla vs. King Kong. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this one is dedicated to my best friends, Sam and Renee. I miss you guys. I promised you I'd put this story out. And uh, years later, I finally finished it. I hope you guys like it. I know there's some clips missing, footage missing, but I try to fill in the gaps to the best of my ability. And uh, crazy times.